blessings to you. Come on in for just a minute. Come on in, come on in. Amen. God bless you. Come on in for just a minute. Hey, Ashley, how are you? Good to see you. Come on in, come on in. I have something important that I want to share with you. It's my, my, my desire to hold you long. Come on in. Praise the Lord, Sister Nadia. How are you? God bless you. Hey, Ebony, God bless you. Good to see you. Blessings, blessings. Come on in. I've got something I want to share with you guys. Amen. This is a wonderful, beautiful day. The sun is shining like on both sides of the road, as the old folks say. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Come on in. I've got something powerful to share with you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is important. When you come in, praise the Lord. If you'll love it, like it, and share it, tag somebody that needs to hear the word of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Come on in. I'll give everybody about 30 more seconds. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Love, like, tag it, share, put somebody's name in it, because you need to hear this. I was sitting at my desk preparing for a Bible study tonight, and the Lord broke in and gave me a word for you. Amen. He gave me a word for you on this third day of March. Hallelujah. And you can mark it down on your calendar. Hallelujah. For it is a very important thing that I want to tell you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen. Glory to God. Those of you that, that came on, praise the Lord, uh, you saw this subject called a change in season. Praise the Lord. For those of you that don't know this, praise the Lord. March the 20th will mark the beginning of spring for 2021. March the 20th, which is signifying a change in season. Praise the Lord. And as I was sitting, the Lord began to deal with me. Praise the Lord about a change in season, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And he told me to tell you, praise the Lord, that you are getting ready to experience a change in your season, praise the Lord. God is about to shift and change your season. Many times we think that it changes with the uh, uh, change of the calendar year, and many times it does. But this time, praise the Lord, it's the season that is changing. So with the change of this natural season, your own personal season is about to change. Glory to God. I want you to like this and I want you to share it with somebody. Glory to God because God don't lie. Surely God don't lie. He gave me a scripture, praise the Lord. And anybody that's able, you can type this amen into your typing place. Praise the Lord. Genesis chapter 41. Praise the Lord. Genesis chapter 41. And I want to read verses 50 through 52. Genesis chapter 41 verses 50 through 52. And I want you to follow me. The Bible says, And unto Joseph was born two sons before the years of famine came, which Asenath the daughter of Potiphar, priest of On, bare unto him. And Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh, 
For God, said he, have made me to forget all my toil and all my father's house. Amen. And then verse 52, and the name of the second called he Ephraim. For God have caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Glory to God. I want to tell you, praise the Lord, that your season has shifted just as the season of Joseph shifted. Now, I don't have the time to tell you all of the story of Joseph. Y'all go back and read it if you don't know it. But how many of you know that Joseph was a pretty special anointed child who God had given a specific destiny to, praise the Lord, this same Joseph, praise the Lord, who was favored of his father, praise the Lord, uh, was hated by his brethren, hated by the ones, praise the Lord, that carried his own blood. This young man, praise the Lord, by his own family was sold into slavery, praise the Lord. He was thrown into a pit, and out of the pit, praise the Lord, he was put into slavery. And from slavery, he went into prison. And from prison, praise the Lord, glory to God, he was sent, amen, to the house of the king, amen, of Egypt called Pharaoh, praise the Lord. And God, amen, made it up to him. I want to tell you and I want to talk to some of you that have been in a season that you've been going through loss after loss after loss after loss. And it looked as if, glory to God, hallelujah, you've been through so much. That almost is like, Lord, how much more can I take? How much more can I endure? I looked for this and then this came and I was expecting this and then the negative came. And it wasn't just, praise the Lord, people on the outside, but I was struggling, praise the Lord, with people, amen, that I'm related to that carry my same blood. Hallelujah, we are in the same family. We go to the same church. Praise the Lord, we live in the same community. And it looks like I am going through so much turmoil and so much hell, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, you've been through your season of lack. You've been through your season of your relationships going through. The Lord specifically told me to tell you that you are about to experience a change in season. This is why you could not have lost your mind. Amen. When you wanted to give up, you could not give up. When you wanted to throw in the towel, you could not throw in the towel because God was telling you that it is time to wait until your season changes. I want someone to know that your season is getting ready to change. In fact, your season is shifting now. Even as I'm speaking, praise the Lord, when God begins to announce a word in the earth, praise the Lord, that is happening, praise God, because it is coming. He has been waiting, you've been waiting, amen, to hear it, praise God. And God's been waiting for somebody to speak it because when the word is spoken, then it is manifested. So I'm telling you, your season is changing. In fact, praise the Lord, let me tell tell you. There you go, Couture. You're saying exactly what I was hearing in my spirit. Not only has it changed, but it is shifting, praise God. Your season has shifted. Just as a man when March 20 come in, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is officially saying that we are in spring. Hallelujah. But before spring gets here, you begin to see signs of spring. Come on, somebody. The sun begin to shine more. The, the, the temperature begins to rise. You begin to see your grass turn green well, where it had withered up and turned, amen, praise the Lord, brown, and, and it looked dead, and the trees looked dead. There was no life. Now you begin to see buds, amen, praise the Lord, of leaves beginning to come up, and your grass beginning to come up, and, and, and where the birds had flew south, amen, for the winter, now you begin to hear them sing again. I'm telling you, somebody's about to hear glory to God, the birds begin to sing again. Hallelujah. Signs of change is coming in your life where you begin, where you were hearing no, and it looked like things had dried up. Praise God. I'm telling you, your season is shifting. Your season has changed. Glory to God. You are in a new place with God. Hallelujah. And you were able to survive. Some of you were so depressed. Amen. You could have took in your life. Some of you were so stressed out. You kept wondering why in the world do I keep moving and keep going? You had to move. You had to go forward so that you could experience the new of God in your life. Oh, glory. Just like Joseph, 
just like Joseph, amen, betrayed by those that he, amen, loved, by those that had his own blood. Glory to God, just like Joseph. Every time you tried to have hope, amen, hell came, praise the Lord. Oh, am I talking to anybody in here? Praise the Lord. You ought to just type that this is my season. My season is shifted. Glory to God. The devil is a liar. Amen. He don't want you to have no hope. But your season has shifted. Oh, and not for the worse. Glory to God. But it's shifting for the better. My God, I hear God. The first thing, amen, when Joseph's season changed, the first thing, Praise the Lord that he birthed it. The first thing, praise the Lord, that came out of him was Manasseh. And the name Manasseh, praise the Lord, it means to forget. He said, because God has caused me, praise the Lord, to forget all of my toil and my father's house. God is causing you to forget, praise the Lord, the pain. Glory to God. In other words, what he's saying, you, you're not necessarily going to forget it, praise the Lord, meaning you won't be able to cognizantly, cognitively remember it, praise the Lord. But what it means, glory to God, that you're going to heal. Your heart is about to heal. Glory to God. Somebody's heart is healing from the broken place that you had, from the last relationship that messed over you, Holly, from the last person that abused their privileges with you. Your heart is about to heal from the last time your finances went under and you lost some things and you were afraid to try again because the last time, praise God, hallelujah, it messed up. God says, I'm causing you to forget. Oh, you're forgetting your toil. You're forgetting your, amen, your father's house, meaning you're forgetting those that done you wrong, praise the Lord. So, so, so what's happening in my Manasseh, praise God, in order for this season to be a, a manifest in your life, praise God, you're going to have to have a Manasseh. You're going to have to forget, praise the Lord, meaning you're going to have to forget. You're going to have to forgive, and you're going to have to move on. Some ought to tell that I'm going to praise God, forget. Hallelujah. In other words, I'm not going to continue to dredge up and bring up what they did to me, what they done, and, and all of the pain that I went through. I'm going to forget it. In other words, I'm not going to allow what happened in the past. Good God Almighty. Glory to God to amen. Hinder what's going on in my present or what God is going to do in my future. Praise the Lord. So praise God. I'm forgiving. Praise God. I'm forgetting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then I'm going to move own, whether it's my business, glory to God, whether it's my relationship, praise the Lord, whether it's my failures, maybe I failed, praise God, but I'm getting ready to forget it, praise God, I'm getting ready to forgive, even if you got to forgive yourself, somebody got to forgive yourself, and amen, and it's time for you to move on, I'm not going to be stuck in that same place, hallelujah, glory to God, when God comes and visit me with my new season, he's not going to find me in the same place that I was in. I'm going to forget. I'm going to forgive. And I'm going to move on. I'm going to forget. I'm going to forgive. I'm going to move on. Can I say it again? I'm going to forget. I'm going to forgive. I'm going to move on. So what? I fell last year. I'm going to forget. I'm going to forgive. I'm going to move on. I'm going to forgive the haters. I'm going to forgive the spectators. I'm going to forgive those that lied on me. I'm going to forgive those that closed doors when they could have opened them. I'm going to forgive those, glory to God, that lied on me and said that I would never be anything. I'm going to release you out of my system. I'm going to release you out of my heart. I refuse glory to God. My God, I speak healing in your life. I speak healing in your emotions. I speak a completeness, glory to God. Yes, you cried about it. Yes, you heard over it, glory to God. But I command you, glory to God, to forget it, glory to God. Forget it, amen. It will not, hallelujah, stay on your mind. It will not control your emotion. I, I said you're going to forget. You're going to forgive. And you're going to move on. And after you have your Manasseh moment. Oh, I hope somebody's getting blessed by this. After you have your Manasseh moment, then you got to have Ephraim. 
And the word Ephraim in Hebrew means fruitful. And 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 and, and go oh, my shatabaya. I, I come to prophesy to somebody and tell you today that you are about to be fruitful in the place of your affliction. You're about to be fruitful in the place where they lied on you. Amen. On the same job where they hindered you from moving forward. On, in the same family, praise God, you are about to be fruitful, glory to God. And this is why the Satan, amen, was trying to kill you. And this is why he was trying to make you give up and throw in the towel, praise God, because the fruit is a sign of your testimony. The fruit is the sign that something, amen, was planted and something grew, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even in the midst, glory to God, hallelujah, of the turmoil and the trouble that you were going through, you kept on growing, praise God. You kept on growing. You kept on growing. Praise God. Just because everybody else was losing their mind, you kept on growing. I'm telling you, God I'm most shy, is about to make you fruitful, glory to God. Amen. Even in the place of your affliction. Hallelujah. And so I got up here for just a few minutes. I I didn't get on to hold you very long, but I got up here for just a few moments to tell you, glory to God, that your season has shifted, amen, that your season has changed, hallelujah, glory to God, go ahead and give him the glory, go ahead and give him the praise, because it is changed, glory to God, just as March the 20th signifies a change in the natural season, glory to God, March the 3rd has, amen, signified a change, glory to God, in in your natural life season, relationship, business, amen, your failures, your personal struggle, amen, is over. Can I prophesy to somebody in here today and tell you you'll never be broke another day in your life? Hallelujah. You'll never be broke another day in your life. Your business is picking up momentum. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Your body is being healed. I'm speaking to somebody right now who had, praise God, a health scare and you was wondering whether you're going to ever recover. I speak to you and tell you, you are recovering. He sent his word and healed them. So I send the word now and I declare that you are recovered. You are healed. You shall live and not die. Hallelujah. You shall live and not die. You shall live. Though every setback was a set up, praise God, for a comeback. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Your setbacks are not going to prevent your come up. May God bless you. I didn't come to hold you long. But I just wanted to let you know your season has Your season has shifted. Your season has changed. Do me a favor. Share this with somebody. This word is blessing. You're going to see it manifest in your life beginning today. Some checks, praise the Lord, coming in the mail. Hallelujah. Some business decisions, some business deals are shifting in your, in your favor. Somebody going to call you that did you wrong and they're going to apologize. Hallelujah. Mark what I'm telling you today because your season has shifted. Your season has changed. Hallelujah. Be encouraged, beloved. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. That's why you couldn't give up. That's why you couldn't throw in the towel. Hallelujah. New, 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 new. The devil don't like it. The devil wants me to quit saying it. He wants me to quit declaring it. But I speak new into your life. I speak new, praise the Lord, into your business. I speak new into your relationship. I speak new, glory. You're going to even get a new praise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You're going to have a new praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The thing that you struggled over in the last season, you ain't going to struggle in this season. New, praise God. New, 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 new. Hallelujah. Is your portion. Listen, may God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget to tune in, amen, at 7 o'clock. Praise the Lord as we go into the Acts kind of church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But for now, know this, that you are experiencing a change in your season. I love you with the love of God. Until next time, God bless you.